In case we're confused about what the perfect camera is and why we're still asking for it seven years later, I have a list. Just follow these blueprints and we'll have it. And I'll leave up out through the dome of our flat earth. Right up there, I'll vortex my way through a star like you've never seen. Will she come with me? All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. May the Panasonic autofocus gods be with us. We're on the Panasonic S5 Mark II with a 20 to 60, just to hope that that stabilization is better than it was at 18 mil. We all know, ooh, someone's getting a package. Is it a camera? It's not. It's an envelope. What a boring thing to deliver. I should blow up this truck. So the goalposts have changed, my friend. I have moved a couple pieces. In the beginning, when I first started this channel, all I really wanted was nice 1080p, IBIS, good autofocus, full frame. We've already achieved it. I'm bored now, I've moved on. Yes, I am wearing my fiance's dead mother's fur hat. What's it to you? Yes, we are at 60 mil to enhance the fur. I'll leave. Can you see the wind? So my first feature is if you try to take a photo, you get an electric shock. The first one's a warning shot. Next one's the kill shot. No photographer will touch my camera. Go in burst mode for the instant death. So we're looking at a video centric sensor here, a 16 by nine ratio because all cameras have like a four by three or three by two for photos and then we crop in for video, not on my watch. We're doing the opposite, 16 by nine, one-to-one -one readout, super speedy. And if you wanna take a photo and bypass the electric shock with rubber gloves, then you crop in my sensor. So we're talking full frame, low megapixel, 8.3 megapixels for perfect 4K. Boom, raw, freaking boom. So with that sensor, it's so super speedy that it's able to do 4K 240p and HD 960 frames per second. It can also do higher than that, of course, in bursts, short bursts, little four second bursts. Sorry, that's all we can do, but magic's like there, boom. I got it, yeah. We're talking like 7,000 frames, no problem. And it's good looking. It's not like, oh my God, why is that so bad? It says it's 1080p. Actual 1080p, if not over sharpened, over sampled. No sharpness allowed. I bet you I'm going to see an owl today. I have no telephoto lens. That would suck. Ibis that doesn't warp or jerk. It seems simple. I don't know how this 20 mils performing. I'm imagining it's pretty good. But if you want ultra wide, here's my suggestion. Disable the axis that tilts and waves. Just do a side by side, up and down. Is there another one? I feel like there's a third one. Up, down, rotating. That's fine, I think. Maybe. I doubt it. But something like that. Just disable two of the axis. And that, that would probably fix it for wide angle. So you turn on an 18 mil, do you want to enable three axis? Yes. So we're full frame, we got good IBIS. Phase detect, obviously, with good algorithms that recognize the face, no freaky stuff. Turning's not a problem at all. Priorities are here. Exposure in the face priority fashion. It's just like, good. Always expose in the face. An animal eye detect that is super reliable, recognizes every species automatically. You just put a little zone, and it's like, yep, there's the bird. Latches right onto it. Highest dynamic range you've ever seen, because that's eight megapixels. We're talking 17 stops, airy quality dynamic range. This is the perfect camera, and you should be shooting for it. Companies, I forgot to mention that slow motion should have a motion trigger. So I put a little box, anything moves inside the trigger, it boxes. 
I saved the sentence. Or we have a delay where it's like, okay, I set up my shot, I press record, I can set a 10 second delay, go run in front of the camera, wiggle around, and then it, boom, 960 frame per second wiggling. You never seen it. I must say, I love how in Panasonic, you wanna set a custom button. You just hold that button, it brings you to the menu, you go through and choose it, boom. I love that. We're adding to it now with three buttons on the front here and a dial right there for vloggers. So we can set custom anything we want. Boom, press that little dial, boom, bam. And if you don't want to use the touch screen, which you could, our touch screen, you wouldn't even believe the thing. Freaking two million dots, a little bigger than most. I hear a duck up there. The odds aren't good. Is that or a tree moving and squeaking, but I think it's a duck. Keep an eye out behind me for a duck. Uh, raw internal recording. It should be simple. Black Magic Raw. Whatever, it has to work in DaVinci. Patents will be a thing of the past. It's a new world we're heading into with the perfect camera. We're all working together. It's not Red's not suing you for your video footage. Hey, you filmed my baby. In raw, not, no, we invented that. Your baby's barn. I would like to say all the specs I've mentioned already are in raw. I can't guarantee that's gonna happen, but in a perfect world, we're doing 4K 240p raw. HD 7,000 frames in a four second burst raw. That would be with a crop though. Ooh, I did not think this through. It's a benefit for wildlife. It's oversampled 1080p, you never seen anything better. It works. I want the 9 million dot viewfinder of the Sony a7S III. Thank you very much. I don't think you need any better. That thing's perfect. It's crystal clear. And I know we already mentioned the EVF, but I mean the LCD. It flips up and around. Or something new with the A99 screen. That's old. Not new at all. And then some nice color science. some nice something normal like olympus colors just good skin tones you're not separating the acne from the flesh it's a, just a one-toned orangey glow a california surfer in the winter we all deserve that you look at a red it's not oversaturated you're crying the greens aren't puke yellow just nice colors natural beautiful vintage modes it's a simple ask Maybe the 4K 240p is a bit much, but 180, come on, come on. I'm actually gonna take this trail, the one they tried to block off as I zoom in cinematically to it. Oh my goodness, they put logs in my way. I'll leave a log in your way, asshole. We're now in electronic stabilization just for the heck of it. What the hell is, who built that? Wow, look at that. I wonder why people do that. Seems like it'd be a lot of effort. So who do I think is gonna actually build this camera? I feel like it's gonna be the Sony a7S IV, but that's not coming out for another two years. So it's a lot of whining ahead for me. I don't see anybody else doing it. Maybe Nikon. I don't see why they would. They can't even put 240p in their Z9. What kind of shit is that? Up until now, I think the closest thing to what I'm asking for is the Sony a7S III. And it does have a lot of weird quirks, like the stay being jerky. The exposure is never right. The auto exposure, I'm talking like it swings quite a bit. And it's never accurate for the face. There's a lot they could improve upon. They've already done it. In the a7 IV, I noticed the exposure much better. Firmware updates coming? No, never. Why did I walk this way? The path started back up there. Now I have to jimmy my way up a hill just to get back to the path. This tree is dead. Oh man, it's a Nikon shooter. Will the S1H do it? I feel like they're gonna kinda just match Sony A7S III specs. They'll have 4K 120p, HD 300 frames per second like the GH6, but no autofocus. We want, like, perfect autofocus in all modes here. 
Nothing is crippled or handicapped. People are saying the Nikon Z8 is going to do it. Like, that's going to be a high megapixel photo camera. Why would that be it? I just want something designed for video for once. It's meant to shoot video. That's what it was built for. It's a cinema cam, but not... Most cinema cams don't have automatic features and auto exposure or things that noobs want and need and love. So it's got to be usable. It's like the R5C just took away all the fun things that the R5 had. You can't even auto expose in 4K 120. You can't change your shutter with a button. There's a lot you couldn't do. No animal eye detect. Why world? Everyone's shooting for 6K and that's ruining my 4K. Everyone wants open gate. That's just ruining my life because now you need a tall sensor and you're doing like just vertical shit hell and you're ruining it. You're compromising my full 16 by nine image to get your slit of death. It's a yellow truck. These social media influencers will be the death of me. Tick talking, stop it. Stop talking on my watch, clock boy. So my perfect camera goes back to the roots designed for video. We're talking like a black magic 4K with autofocus features in IBIS. Maybe even internal electronic ND, if you throw that in there somehow. It could be so simple. Just something designed for video. I don't care if it's full frame, I really do, but I would take this in an action cam, one inch type of thing. Camcorder body, the X4000. That's all I really want. When's that coming? Sony, are you working on it? Someone tell me they're working on it. Will someone do it. Why aren't you doing it right now? Every time I ask for a spec, a little delay on that. Like three years later, it's like, okay, we're working. It's like, I've moved on. So I have to up the game here. 4K 240p and all this stuff. And okay. And then seven years later, we finally get it. And then I can make a vlog in a forest. That's good times. So what do you think? Did I miss anything? I probably missed a bunch of stuff. Let me know down below. You buying this through my affiliate links? How was the stay? Good times? Autofocus? Did it hunt? Sometimes, man. It, talk to the hand and it gets you. Stop that. Alright, we're locked on all the way. I was on responsive. Are you locking? Those boxes are very distracting, Penny Boy. I like Sony's just like one thing on the eye. This is a whole box, crosshairs, and then it keeps flipping to the body. I'll go. Subscribe. For more videos, say yeah.